Well, good morning and welcome to Some Good Seeds. Wayne Hathaway here with you on January the 1st, 2022. Happy New Year. Who would have ever thought? Uh, I can remember, uh, well, 20 plus short years ago, we were uh, all a Twitter about the, the coming new millennia and what might happen to all of our uh, electronics and our computers because, you know, the whole millennial scare thing. But here we are, 21 years later, uh, beginning a brand new year. And perhaps maybe this is the year that the Lord might return. Our reading today is from Genesis 1 and 2 and Luke chapter 1. And I, I am just amazed once again. I'm excited to uh, begin again in the book of Genesis reading this year and uh, anticipating what the Lord has for me personally and my own reading. And I uh, pray that it's a uh, uh, an excitement for you too to get into the word again and probably if you have any kind of a reading program that you're following you're reading in Genesis today as well so uh, I'm excited about that and I, I love the creation account in Genesis chapter 1 and the verses that I want to think a little bit about this morning are Genesis uh, chapter 1 verses 14 and 15 then God said let there be lights in the firmament of the heavens to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. Oh, I am just, I am, I, I, I'm not even sure exactly even how to express what I feel about those verses. God speaking, and it happened as he spoke. He spoke the worlds into existence. He spoke the lights in the heavens into existence. And then the realization that he is the light source, the creator of light. Oh, it's just so amazing that he provided light, that he provided all the the the, the creation, the vegetation, the animals, the, the whole creation account is just so amazing to me. And I, I just really believe that those first 11 chapters of the book of Genesis are so important and critical to all that we believe. So he is the light source. And he has come to give us light, and he says that we are the light of the world. Uh, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. And so that's my prayer for us during this coming year, that we will be lights, uh, certainly not the sun, but the moon, reflecting the light of the sun. That's who we are. That's what we do, reflect the light of the Lord Jesus Christ in, in our lives so that people can see the good works and give uh, all the glory and the honor and the praise to the one who is the light source. Amen. Another little thought that I have that I want to share with you and I want to encourage you to do uh, due diligence to be good Bereans about this. Uh, there has been a, quite a stir uh, within the uh, Christian community over the last month's year uh, or so uh, because of the movie series or the TV series called The Chosen. And uh, I came across an article that I want to refer you to and encourage you to read for yourself. Uh, go to uh, www.thebereancall.org, thebereancall.org. And there is there an article by T.A. McMahon uh, on The Chosen. And I, I would really encourage you to go and read that. I'm not telling you that I necessarily absolutely agree with everything that T.A. McMahon says, but it does pose some interesting thoughts that we really do need to be aware of. Uh, you could also uh, do a Google search on the names of the producers of uh, The Chosen, the guys who are behind the whole series, and check out their beliefs and where they are coming from. And uh, just give it a, a look. Be a good Berean. Check it all out. And uh, if you feel so inclined, you might just uh, give me a shout. Let me know what your thoughts are. Open a little bit of a dialogue with regard to this uh, TV series, I think it really, really is quite important uh, that we do that. So encourage you to do that and let me know what you think. And in the meantime, may the Lord richly bless you as you uh, begin again anew this new year to get into the Word. Uh, if you have a reading plan that takes you up to Leviticus a little bit later, I call Leviticus um, not uh, in a un- uh, Christian way. I'm not even sure how to say that uh, in, in a way that brings some kind of uh, negative light to the book of Leviticus because it is the word of God. But as far as reading plans go, I call it the boneyard of, of uh, or the graveyard of reading plans. Uh, you know, we start out with the intent of reading, uh, I'm going to read the Bible through this year and you get to Leviticus and kind of get way down and give up there. Don't do that. 
keep in the word because there is truth there for us from the word of God that will bless us and help us in all that we do. So may the Lord richly bless you today. And again, happy new year.